The control module for the Anti-Lock Braking System, ABS, functions as a computer-like electronic device within the vehicle. It is responsible for processing data received from the ABS sensors to ensure the proper functioning of the ABS. It is also tasked with managing subsequent actions to enhance safety during instances of stability or traction loss and determine the appropriate pressure distribution to each wheel. So to stop the wheels from sliding, the ABS module relies on sensor data that tells it how fast the tires are spinning. In many cars, you'll find the ABS control module in the engine area, but in some models, it's hidden on the driver's side frame rail. You might need to lift the car to find it, and it could be covered by plastic bits or panels. In this video, we're going to dive into eight symptoms of a bad ABS control module. Let's get started. Sign number eight. Warning light. When the ABS warning light pops up on your dashboard, it's a sign that there's a trouble with your ABS module. This often happens because of issues with the ABS module or related parts. Since the ABS may not function properly, there's an increasing risk of skidding or loss of control during braking. If the module fails or malfunctions, it can trigger the warning light to alert the driver of potential problems with the ABS, highlighting the need for inspection and repairs. Sign number seven, locking wheels. When your ABS module isn't working right, it may fail to modulate brake pressure properly, which leads to the wheels locking up during hard braking. So when you slam on the brakes hard, instead of stopping smoothly, your wheels could suddenly lock up, like slamming on the brakes of a bike and skidding out. This can make it harder to stop quickly, especially on slippery roads, and even mess with your steering. It's definitely not ideal, especially when you're trying to stop quickly to avoid an accident. So locking wheels is a symptom of a bad ABS module because it's responsible for controlling the pressure applied to your brakes to prevent wheel lockup. If it's not doing its job correctly, it can lead to these dangerous situations on the road. Sign number six, increased braking effort. When the ABS module isn't working right, it may affect the efficiency of the braking system, requiring the driver to apply increased pressure to the brake pedal to achieve the desired braking force. So, when you hit the brakes, you might have to push down harder than usual to get your car to stop. It's like stepping on a sponge instead of a solid brake pedal. It just doesn't feel right. This delay in stopping can be pretty scary, especially in an emergency when every second counts. It's all because the ABS module helps control how much pressure goes to your brakes, but when it's acting up, it can't do its job properly, leaving you with less control over your braking and making driving riskier. Sign number five, unresponsive brake pedal. Since we're already on the topic of brake pedal, let's also talk about when it became unresponsive because of a bad ABS module. So when the ABS module is faulty, the brake pedal may feel unresponsive, like pressing on a soft sponge, which makes it challenging for the driver to maintain consistent braking pressure, resulting in unpredictable braking behavior. This compromised vehicle control is also concerning during emergency braking situations where precise and immediate braking response is important. Sign number four, strange noises. Strange noises such as grinding, whining, or buzzing may occur due to mechanical or electrical issues within the ABS module. These can indicate potential problems with the ABS hydraulic unit, solenoid valves, or other components, which may affect the overall performance of the ABS. When you start hearing these odd sounds coming from your car, it's a warning sign that something's not right because the ABS module oversees the operation of various components within the ABS. If the module malfunctions, it can cause these parts to act up, leading to the strange noises you hear. Sign number three, ABS pump running constantly. A faulty ABS module may cause the ABS pump to run continuously even when the brakes are not engaged. This can lead to premature wear of the ABS components and may eventually cause the ABS to fail altogether. It's like leaving your faucet running all the time. It puts unnecessary strain on the system and wears it out faster. This happens because the ABS module is responsible for controlling when the ABS pump should run. 
If the module is faulty, it can send incorrect signals to the pump, causing it to run non-stop. So if you notice your ABS pump running all the time, it's a sign that it needs attention before it leads to more serious issues with your brakes. Sign number two, inaccurate speedometer. Readings issues with the ABS module can affect the accuracy of the vehicle's speed sensor readings, leading to inaccuracies in the speedometer and odometer readings. So, when you're driving, your speedometer might say, you're going faster or slower than you really are, and your odometer might not keep track of the distance you've traveled correctly. It's hard to trust where you're going and how far you've gone. This happens because the ABS module helps interpret the signals from the speed sensors. So if it's not doing its job right, it can throw off your readings. If you notice your speedometer acting weird or your odometer seems off, it could be a sign that your ABS module needs some attention to keep you safe on the road. Sign number one, inconsistent traction control activation. The traction control system depends on information from the ABS module to work right. But if the ABS module isn't working, the traction control system might act up, making it harder to keep your car steady on slippery roads. This happens because a faulty ABS module can't tell the traction control system what to do, leaving you more likely to lose grip on the road. So, if you notice your traction control system acting up, it could be a sign of a bad ABS module that needs fixing. The cost of repairing a faulty ABS module typically ranges from $200 to $600, depending on various factors such as the make and model of your vehicle, the severity of the issue, and the labor rates charged by the mechanic or dealership. However, if the ABS module needs to be replaced entirely, the cost can be higher due to the expense of the new module itself. So there you have it the eight symptoms of a bad ABS module. These can help you identify potential issues so you can take the necessary steps to address them immediately. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you fix it.